Good morning, it's Morning Maths with Miss Butler and as you know by now you just need a pencil and paper, you can copy me or go faster than me if you can and all the answers will be at the end. Year 3 can do questions 1 to 5, Year 4 can do questions 1 to 10, Year 5 6 to 15 and Year 6 11 to 20 and of course Year 3 you can go up to 10 if you'd like to and um, if you want to do all of the questions or give them a go of course you can do that. So let's get started. So number one, we need to work out the value of the four in 45. I'm just going to write the number down. Still getting used to this pen. I'm going to put on my hats and I can see it's in the tens. So I've got four tens. There we go. Number two. Whoops. Number two, we have to add two three digit numbers. We've got 305 plus 407. So let's just write the question number down. And we're going to add 305. So we're going to put a plus sign. Go nice and even, draw a line, and then we can add them together. We've got 7 plus 5, I'm going to count on my fingers, starting with 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to carry 1, and I've got 2, 0, so it's just in fact 1. Then we've got 4 plus 3, so we again count on our fingers, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 712. There we go, number three. We've got to subtract 200 minus 45. So remember the biggest number goes on top. We're going to put our minus sign. We're going to take away 45. I'm sure some of you could do it in your head, but we're just going to do it on paper and check just to make sure. There we go. So zero minus five, we can't do that because we don't have enough. So we're going to have to borrow. Can't borrow there because there's a zero again. So we're going to borrow from the two. Now remember, you can only borrow across one column. So we have to give back and then borrow again. There we go. So now we've got 10 minus five, which is five. If I count five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There we go. 9 minus 4, so I'm going to count on from 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's also 5, and then 1 minus 0 is 1. Usually I do put 0 for place value, so if you want to do that you can. So the answer, 155. Okay, now number 4, we've got 3 times 50. There's lots of ways we could do this. We can say 3 times 5 and add our 0. So we could do that one first. So we've got 3 times 50. We can remind ourselves to add our 0 back. 3 times 5, I'll count it on my fingers. 5, 10, 15. That equals 15 plus our 0. And we've got 150. And if you can count up in 50s, you can check that. So 50 100, 150. It's also repeated addition, so you could have added 50 plus 50 plus 50 like that, and you would have got the same answer. Number five, we're going to divide 14 by two, so half of 14. Now I happen to know down here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14 huskies. So if we split those into two groups, because we're dividing by two, so let's go one, two, three, three. We'll soon be able to see that 14 divided by two One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven plus these in each group. There we go. So we know that 14 divided by 2, half of 14 is going to equal 7. There we go. Now that's the first set of numbers. I've just realised the other numbers aren't covered up. Normally they're covered up, aren't they? So let's just cover those other numbers. Oh, it might get a bit confusing, although we are now on to our number 6. So we will actually just bring it down to there. Okay, number six, 5,000 plus something equals 5,999. So we really need to find the difference here. If we take away our smaller number, 5,000, from the answer, so we've got 5, 9, We can take away 5,000 now we know we have to subtract because we need to find the difference we can then add the difference back to 5,000 to make our answer so we've got 9 minus 0 it's going to be 9 9 minus 0, that's going to be 9. 9 minus 0, that's going to be 9. 5 minus 5 is 0. So our answer is going to be 999. And we can see that if we add 999 back to our 5,000, it's going to give us the answer um, that we want, 5,999. So that's our answer. Okay, number seven, we're going to add. We've got two four-digit numbers, so we can align them nicely. We've got 3,471. And we're going to add 2,000. And I do apologise again for my laptop clicking. Hopefully it's not too off-putting. There we go. So 4 plus 1, we can add on 1 to 4 to make 5. 9 plus 7, I'll do it on my fingers. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Carry 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. On my fingers, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we're able to carry one again. 3 plus 2, 3, 4, 5 plus 1 is 6. Okay, so our answer is 6,365. We needed a bigger answer because we were adding. There we go. But 8. Fifty-nine less than three thousand, so we need to subtract, take away fifty-nine from three thousand. Again, I'm sure some of you could do it in your head, but it's always best to check. So if you've done it in your head, you can then check the answer with me. Now we've got to write a line on number because we've only got nine in our units, so units and tens, no hundreds or thousands. So we can put a zero there. We're going to subtract because it's less than. And again, we cannot say zero take away nine. It's not big enough. So we're going to have to borrow all the way from the end. So the three becomes a two. We give back here. We borrow again. And we do that again here. We borrow it again. And we end up with ten. 10 minus 9, so 9 to 10, that's going to be a difference of 1. And then 9 minus 5, well if I find the difference, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 4. 
9 minus 0 is going to stay as 9, and 2 minus 0 is 2. 2,941. Now we've got to multiply. We've got a four-digit number, so we've got 2, 9, 4, I know you're all really fast at times table, so you'll definitely beat me on this one. Times five. Okay, five times five on my fingers. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Carry two. Four times five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Plus the two makes twenty-two. Carry the two again. Cross that one out. Nine times five. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30, 40, 45, that makes 47, carrying a 4 this time, 5 times 2, 5, 10, and the 4 makes 14, there we go, so we've got 14,725, and the last one in this set, number 10, we're going to divide, so we're going to do bus stop division, I'm going to draw my bus stop. I've got 426. I'm going to divide by 3. So let's have a look. How many 3's go into 4? Well, just 1, and we've got 1 remainder. 3's into 12, we can count on our fingers. 3, 6, 9, 12, that's 4. And how many 3 is going to 6? 3, 6, that's going to be 2. So our answer is 142. There we go. OK, so now we start on number 11. We can move that out of the way. How many 10s is 9,000? So if we do the moving method, we can um, work it out. We can divide by 10. Let's do that. So we've got 9,000. And to put our invisible decimal point, we're going that way to the right because it's dividing by 10 to find out how many tens make up 9,000. So we're going to move one column from the decimal place. And we're going to move our zero across. Mustn't forget to put the decimal point back in. Then move our other zero and the other one. And we can see that how many tens actually equals 900. So 900 multiplied by 10 is going to give us 9,000. There we go. Number 12, we've got to add decimals. So remember when you're adding decimals, you've got to line up the decimal points. So let's put those in first, like buttons on a shirt. We've got two, and then we've got our answer. You can probably hear my dog walking across the room then because the claws are clacking on the floor. Okay, we've got that's the biggest number on top actually. So 42.8, and we're going to add that to 7.77. Now that looks a bit uneven. We've lined up our decimal points. Let's put the zeros in for place value, then it looks nice and neat. Draw our line. And we're going to add. So 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 8, I'll start with 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Only one, so 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 2 more, that makes 10. So now I've got one more here, 4 plus 1 makes 5. There we go, so the answer is 50.57. Okay, so number 13 next, we've got to add, now we haven't, sorry, we've got to subtract a decimal number from a whole number. So the biggest number has to go on top, that's 14, 
and we are going to have to add a decimal point and zeros for place value so we can borrow. So let's just put the decimal points in first, that number and the other number and in the answer. There we go. So because we're subtracting tenths and hundredths, we need to put a zero in our tenths and hundredths. And we're going to subtract 5.65. So remember, we can't just write the 6 and the 5 underneath. That's why we need our zeros. So, of course, we can't say 0 take away 5, so we are going to have to borrow. And we're going to have to go all the way across to our 4 and borrow, so that becomes a 3. We can only go one column across, remember, so that becomes a 10. And then we borrow again and we give back to the end. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 6, so 6, 7, 8, 9, that's 3 of course. So 3 minus 5, we can't do that, so we're going to have to borrow. That's going to become a 0. So we're going to find the difference. 13 minus 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that's 7. And we've got nothing else on the end there. So the answer is 7.35. OK, now we've got long multiplication. So we've got 235. My writing's actually getting a bit better now. It's a little bit neater. And we're going to multiply that by 35. I don't think I could do this in my head. Probably Mr. Seal could, or even some of the uh, fives and sixes, but I'm going to do the long multiplication method. So we always start with our units, and I'm going to put a circle around that one. So we start with our units, then we always multiply across from our units, moving down our number. So five times five, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm just going to put a small two, so you want to be careful with your carried numbers. Then we've got 5 times 3, that's 15, plus the 2. I'm going to cross that out now. So that's 17, and I'm carrying 1. So 5 times 2 is 10, plus the 1, so we've got 11. Now we're going to multiply by 3. Now remember, it's not 3, it's actually 30, because it's 35. So I'll write 30 up there to remind me the zero has to come down here for place value, otherwise your answer will be wrong. Then we can multiply by 3. So 3 times 5, we know that's 15. Carry 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus this 1 here makes 10. 3 times 2 is 6, that 1 makes 7. Cross that out. We need to add our two answers together. So we've got 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 7, so that's 7, 9, 10, 11, 12. There we go. And we've got 1 to carry. So 1 and 1 is 2. And 7 plus 1 is 8. So we've got 8,225. OK, so now we've got to divide by 25. So let's do bus stop. Let's put our question number, number 15. Oops. And we're going to put our number we're dividing into in the bus stop. So we've got 4, 2, 7, And 25. I think Mr. Sewell is testing me now to do this quickly, so let's have a look. So 25 can't go into 4, so we have to carry our 4 and put a 0. So 25 into 42. So if I double 25, I get 50. So I know that I can only go into 42 once, 
and then I'm going to have to carry the rest. So 25 into 42 is once and remainder, I count it on my fingers, I've got 5 to 30, another 10 to 40, that's going to be 17. And we can just quickly check that by saying 20, 30, 35, 42, that makes 42. Okay, so then we've got to um, say how many 25s in 177? So if I think, if I count in 25s, I do know there's four in 100, so 25, 50, 75, 100, um, 125, 150, uh, use your fingers, then after 150 we get to 175, that's seven. So we've got seven, and we've got two left over. So 25 into 25 goes one. That wasn't too bad, was it? So the answer is 171. There we go. And of course, you could multiply that back out to see if you get your big answer at the end, just to double check. OK, the last set. So we're on 16. And we're going to see how many tens is 40,000. So if we do our moving method again, divide by 10, then we'll know how many tens we need to make 40,000. So let's just double check. We've got three, four zeros. Yes, we've got the right amount of zeros. Put an invisible decimal point. Doesn't look very big, does it? Let's just quickly. So that's the invisible decimal point at the end of our whole number, because we're going to divide by 10 to see how many tens there are in 40,000. So it's the moving method. So we're going to move the number this way because left is larger. So we're going to the right to make it smaller because we're dividing. So this zero is going to come here. That zero here. The other zero is going to come here. That one's going to come here. I've got the same amount of zeros. Look, so I know I've done it properly. And my four is there. So how many tens? It's going to be 4,000. That's the answer there. Look, 4,000 tens, because if we times 4,000 by 10, we get 40,000. Oops. OK, so number 17, we're going to add decimal numbers. So I'm going to put the decimal points in first. Like buttons, remember, on a shirt and one for the answer. OK, so 0 0.007. Now we're adding, so actually it doesn't matter which way around we do this, so I'm just going to put the first number. Zero, 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 seven, and we're adding, and we've got nine, point nine nine three. We've got 7 plus 3 is 10. Carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry 1. And we've got 10. So some of you might have guessed that from looking at the number that we were going to get a nice even whole number there. OK, so the answer is 10. OK, number 18. got to separate 123 from 360. So that's the same as take away. If we take away 123 from 360, we've separated them, haven't we? So we're going to separate by subtracting. So really, it's just the language there. The sum's not really tricky. It's just knowing what you have to do, isn't it, when it says separate? You have to remember that. So 0 minus 3, well, we can't do that because we haven't got enough. So we're going to have to borrow. So the 6 becomes a 5, and we've got 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. 5 minus 2 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. So the answer is 237. There we go.
So now we've got long multiplication. We've got 4,887 multiplied by 25. Okay, so we start with our units. 5 times 7 is 35. I'm going to carry 3. 8 times 5 is 40. That makes 43. Um, we've got 8 times 5 again, that's 40. This time we've got 44. And 5 times 4 is 20 plus the Four is 24. Now we've got to multiply by the 2. It's not actually a 2, remember, it's 20. So I'm just going to write up here 20 to remind me this 0 has to come down here. The place value. Then we can say 2 times 7 is 14. Carry 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus the 1 that we carried. There we go. And 2 times 8 is 16, plus the 1 we carried again, that's 17. And 2 times 4 is 8, plus the 1 we carried is 9. And really, I should have crossed out those carried numbers as I used them. And the ones here, otherwise you might make a mistake and add them back into your sum at the end. Now we're going to add up our two answers. So we've got 5 plus 0 is 5. 3 plus 4 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11, carry 1. 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 1 is 12, carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, 11, 12. So we've got 122,000. You can put your comma in if you want to. Um, 175. There we go, we're on to the last question. And we've got long, uh, sorry, we've got Division, bus stop division. Okay. So we've got 29,000 280. That's being divided by 32. So Let's have a look. 32 into 2 doesn't go, so we've got to put 0. Here we are, 2. Now, 32 into 29 doesn't go either, so let's put another 0. Now we've got to carry 29. So we've actually got 32 into 292. So let's have a little think. So if we multiplied 30 by 10, we'd have 300. That's going to be too much, so we could try... 32 by 9. So if we just try 32 multiplied by 9, let's see if we get a near the answer. So we've got 9 times 2 is 18. Carry 1. 3 times 27 plus that one is 28. So we've got 288. So we can't go any more because we can only go as far as 292. So that's going to be a 9. And we've got left over, um, 2 makes 290, so we've got 4 left over. So 32 into 48 can only go once, because double 32 is 64. So we've got 32, so 42, so that's 10. 6 more, that's 16. So 32 into 160, well, if we look at here, we've got half roughly, it'd be by 4, so let's try 5, because I know that if I do 5 times 2, it's 10, so that's looking about right to me. Let's just try that, it's always best to just try, don't guess. So 5 times 2 is 10, carry 1, 3 times 5 is 15, plus 1 is 16, there we go, so the answer's five. Okay, so we've done the last sum, um, 
29,280 divided by 32 and the answer is 915. So very well done. I hope you managed to do all of those questions. I'm going to put on the answer sheet for you. There we go and you'll have another morning maths tomorrow. Bye.